What's going on, everyone? Hope you guys are doing well. This is your boy Top Cat the Gamer. We are back with some more Trails into Reverie. Um, we're going to be finishing up the last two Rendering browsing on the, um, stories in the slab of reminiscence. Um, we're going to just jump right into it. I hope you all are doing well. Uh, okay, so this is the ultimate wilderness cooking. Oh, God, Freddy. And then this other one looks like it's Jingo. I forget that guy's name. Uh, I forget his name. I know he's related to uh, Muse in some type of way. I don't know if it's our uncle or something. I just can't remember right now, but we're gonna go ahead and start with the ultimate wilderness cooking. <sighs> Let's get into it. If you're new to the channel, tap that like button. We're gonna get it going here. I feel like this is going to be a weird one. It was mid-February in the year 1207 of the Septian calendar, two weeks before the wedding ceremony of Prince Oliver. Nicholas, former Thor student and employee of the Zemurian Railroad Corporation, received a message from Valvane Palace. The palace, it turned out, wanted to, I mean, wanted his help planning the wedding reception's buffet as the prince was also a Thor's alumnus. In response, Nicholas decided to gather menu items, I mean ideas, from fellow alumni, younger students, and even students from the branch campus. One of those who answered the call was a young student from the branch campus who was far more passionate about cooking than most. Freddy can be passionate about cooking all he want, man, but like throwing bugs and, and animals and like weird ass animals and shit in it. Like, I mean, it's weird, bro. <laughs> That's why I know about everybody asks, oh, Freddy cooking? Um, yeah. I don't need a dish fit for a royal wedding that can also be served at, at a buffet. And only ones the judges approve of will get a chance, huh? I can't stop thinking about what Sandy and Tita said. Don't get me wrong, we're not saying your cooking style is bad or anything, but lots of different people will be in attendance, so I think you should avoid anything that'll taste too bitter. I, why don't they just tell his ass the truth? Like, the dude's cooking is great, is great. just stop throwing bugs and critters and shit in it. It's, <laughs> why is that so hard for people to say to him? And presentation is important. I'm sorry, yeah, presentation, presentation, either one. Uh, most people aren't going to be too into eating bugs and lizards. Thank you, Tita. Thank you. Huh? Really? Like, that really shocks him. Weird ass dude. <laughs> I need to aim for something that'll be a hit with the average person. I never realized my cooking was an acquired taste. What? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> like three straight games everybody been telling his ass like bugs and shit oh my god this dude's tripping when I look back it is true a lot of people try my dishes with nervous expressions he just now realized it. <laughs> I just took it more as nervous excitement <laughs> could it be <laughs> was I really mistaken this entire time why don't you go say nope if I was, I'll need to go talk to everyone who's tried my food to get the honest opinion. Oh, boy. All right, man. Whatever this weird one is, ultimate wilderness cooking. I feel like they could have picked somebody else to give a side story to. Yeah, a lot of girls are scared of bugs. I don't mind touching them personally. But even I would have to muster up the courage to put one in my mouth. I'm glad they're telling them. Uh, being afraid of bugs is definitely not a, just a girl thing. I would run around catching bugs when I was a child, but I never once thought to eat them. Just the thought of food wriggling around is enough for me <laughs> to <laughs> agree, not even once. I think I've said this a dozen times, but food shouldn't be bitter or smelly. I don't mind pungent foods. I actually like your cooking, Freddy. The fuck? But I also see why most would avoid it. Why Wayne always look pissed off? I'd rather have my food smell normal. So would I. 
But that's why I see try and pungent foods as a test of your will. I never realized this. Uh, I'm sorry. I, re I never realized this is what you guys thought of my cooking. You don't need to be sad about it. <laughs> Looks like most people's taste buds aren't as cultivated as mine. I have to be more conscious of that going forward. Thank God, finally. <laughs> if I want to please the masses, then I need to aim for flavors most everyone likes and not make it so punchy. I think something involving wild game would work, but I want I don't want to I would don't want something too common like deer or rabbit. That narrows it down to Oh God, why Freddy, what a lovely surprise. How are you? Still drumming up ideas on what to present to the, for the royal wedding? I sure am. That's actually why I called. I'd love to get your input on something. Freddy asked Margarita if she had any thoughts on Rare Game that would also be palatable for the average person. She then enthousi uh, enthusiastically suggested, I almost butchered that word, damn. Oh wow, okay, so yeah. Oh god, are we gonna play as Fred, like play as him? I thought this was more of a story thing. So this is Wes Lang Languedoc. Ah, here they are. I never had to see it before. Languedoc Canyon's rock, rock Patio. If memory serves, Class 7 had to come out this way during one of their special ops. According to Margarita, that legendary game should be around here somewhere. But man, this place is something else. I bet there's all kinds of good stuff crawling inside of every nook and cranny here. Enough standing around, time to get to hunting. Okay. So we legit are playing as Freddy. A great guineo. Those taste great if you oh. some sweet and salty and grill them. Okay. Oh, I'm salivating just thinking about it. So we just stab the damn things. Okay. <laughs> when the hell did Freddy get to be that damn strong? <laughs> just I'm just saying. Since when's Freddy walk through here just stabbing shit and <laughs> Oh, okay, they don't even come after you. <clears throat> wow, okay, alright, well. Freddy found a wild Recumbo? Recambo? Uh, this stuff's wild grass similar to green onions. It could make for a, a, a condiment. Or at the very least, I could use it as rations. May as well grab some. Let me move this along here. <laughs> okay. I wonder, does running into one of them actually get you into a fight, though? Let me see. Nope. Yeah. I guess just fuck them up at your heart's content then. Now, I, I uh, do notice that in the, um, some of these things, when you... Um, whatever you get in the story, you do get in your um, inventory. So... You know, if you need some extra food items and stuff like that, I say go for it. Freddy found rock tripe. Rock tripe, eh? It's a type of lichen or lichen that grows on rock walls like this. It doesn't have uh, much flavor on its own, but it's still coming handy. I could probably use it to make a sauce to go along with the main dish. Wait, oh shit, damn. Turn around up in there. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, we gotta go down there anyway. Are you serious? <laughs> Freddy found a beehive. Well, I'll be. A beehive is practically a perfect find. Every part of it can be used for something. The recipe won't call for any bees or larvae. Uh, larvae this time, but honey is always useful. Like, what the fuck is he trying to make? Wait, can I jump down right there? <laughs> I cannot. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so it, that little thing is like a little wave of coming out. Okay. I was like, what the hell? Huh? Freddy ain't afraid of shit, I tell you that. I knew I sensed something. I only caught a glimpse of it. But it definitely gave off a different vibe than the other monsters roaming around here. That must be the legendary wild game. I guess the hunt's on. Okay. Show yourself, Parsney Panda. I'll stop it. Nothing to make a oh, Parsney Panda. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me of those uh anime laughs. Ha ha ha! It's always like one dude on there, <laughs> like the dude dude on Black Clover. That's always going ha ha, and everybody thought that was his name. There is some kind of black mass on the ground. I thought I was catching a faint whiff of one. It's a black truffle. My senses are on another level today. You can't beat the aroma truffles. Give, uh, aroma truffles give you. I can't wait to see how this dish turns out. This dude is tripping hard, boy. Just picking up <laughs> random shit off the ground. Like, ah, you know what? Let me just take this and just throw it in there. I could have sworn that monster I saw ran earlier ran in this direction. Guess I could scatter some bait to lure it out. <laughs> scatter some bait. Boy, drop the apple. <laughs> that ought to do it. Come out, come out wherever you are. What monster could resist an apple filled with honey? It's positively delicious. <laughs> well, come take a bite of me if you want. <laughs> that monster is funny as shit. It just came out with a big ass carrot. <laughs> would you look? Would you look at that pointed nose? It looks like a green raccoon. Margarita was on the mirror. <laughs> Itching for a fight, are you? Fine with me. May the best man win. And to the victor goes the meat. Freddy ass get killed out there one day. And when nobody even know his ass was dead. I should have expected a rare monster to be this fast. I need to finish this quickly. Time for a decisive blow. <laughs> Any longer and the fatigue is going to affect the meat's quality. <laughs> Next time it goes for a big attack. That will be my chance to finish it. There it goes. You should have just stuck oh, it up his ass. Nice try, but too slow. The next flurry's gonna bleed you dry. Beast bloodletting strike! <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Rest in peace, little guy. You fought admirably. I give my word that not a single part of you will go to waste. <laughs> I'm done, bro. Uh, and so Freddy obtained the Parsley Pandas meat. Soon the day arrived. I can't even stop, I can't keep, stop thinking about it. For him uh, to present his dish to the review panel. Good God, man. What the fuck was this side, this side quest, man? This uh, story right here. Come on. I'm not trying to diss Freddy, man. It's just, there are more 
interesting characters than Freddy to me. It's time to th turn things over to our review panel. I, Proud Thor's graduate monk, will be your MC today. Unfortunately, the man behind this whole event, Nicholas, is in a meeting at Valflame Palace about the multi-course menu and can't be here today. Just to remind you all, only dishes that pass our review panel will be served at the Prince's Wedding Reception Bank. Now, let me introduce you to our esteemed panelists. Really? She, she just she showed up for that though. Oh wow, this is all, this ought to be a good time. Let us hope that you satisfy my refined palate. This is my first time inspecting or uh, judging food, but I'll give it my best. The most awful people. Yeah, Marcus Ballard. Okay. Uh, why must uh, I debase myself by dining upon this amateurish attempt at gastronomy? <laughs> Rosalia, Machias' co-worker, Inspector Reiner, or Reiner, I think it's Reiner, and Marquis Ballard, huh? Nicholas really got around, I see. And while I have no idea how she made it all happen, I'm guessing Muse is responsible for the Marquis' presence today. Who can say? Either way, we should get a wide variety of opinions with these three serving as judges. If I recall correctly, Roselia hates vegetables but loves junk food, right? If that's the case, it's pretty easy to imagine what she'll say. Not to be rude, but I expect the inspector's impressions will be the most standard. My granduncle is quite the epi epicurean? That's a never saw that word before. Epicurean, huh? So he knows a lot about delicacies. So basically, I said, you know, I noticed that about this game. I, there's a lot of words I don't know. I read a lot, you know. Well, more than I like, not as more as I, much as I used to, but I still read quite a bit. And I've never seen. There's a lot of words on here I, I've like never seen before in my life. And I'm like, wait a minute. I got, and I have to go look this stuff up and be like, wow, that's crazy. So always, you never too old to learn. Tell you that. So basically, they gotta please a little kid, some normie, and a rich bastard. <laughs> Wording notwithstanding, yeah. We should get a, a good balance of opinions like this. I hope everyone participating does their best. With Yuna representing Class 7, we have to cheer on. Alright everyone, let's put everything we've got into this. It's not like we're actually facing each other, but I'm still excited. Right, let's do our best. Okay, Annabelle, are you ready? I haven't seen them the whole game, of course. I'm looking forward to seeing what you whip up, Freddy. Likewise. So each, uh, so each participant began cooking in earnest with those who finished bringing their dishes before the judging panel. Let the review process begin. What the hell is that? Look like Rice Krispies. Our first dish is courtesy of current student Sandy. Today I'm serving you a Lindheim risotto. This is a it's neither an original dish nor a new one. But it's a dish that I know Prince Oliver loved when he was a child. It's very special to him. Please give it a try. This this truly warms my heart. Its full body flavor is elegant in its own way, and yet somehow it also feels like the sort of rustic home cooking one's mother might make. <laughs> the secret behind this complex flavor is the luxurious moon truffle, is it not? And yet, it's not even the main star of the dish, of this dish. It simply serves as an accent to the rest of the ingredients. Exactly. I knew you would notice Marquis Ballard. Of course I would. What do you take me for? Some meat and potatoes backwater bumpkin? <laughs> that said, I never dreamed a student could prepare something of this quality. It seems I'm in for a fine feast today indeed. All of which is to say, <clears throat> to say this is a quality dish. No complaints from me. It hits the palate so gently that I suspect I'll crave this the next time I have a hangover. Wow. That's big praise, sir. Thank you. Tandy can cook, though. 
I'm quite fond of this rice porridge. No, what did you call it? Risotto. If I were to nitpick, I would say that it's only lightly flavored. Who let this child in here? The degree to which you are incorrect is infuriating. If you can't stand the complexities of this dish, then you have no right to be sitting here. It's not too late for us to call on in a new judge. Excuse me? You have a lot of nerve talking about complexities when you look like you'd suck wine out of a crumpled napkin. <laughs> a crumpled up napkin, I'm sorry. How dare you? Do you realize who you're talking to? You think you're so great? Please. I'm the elder of the Hexen clan. Yeah, Roselli is like 900 years old, 1200 years old, something like that. Uh, can the two of you please resolve your differences peacefully? What's this? The judges are going for the juggler with each other. Their antics aside, Sandy's dish has received a high score. Bravo. Now let's get things back on track, shall we? Grand uncle can be a handful sometimes. I'm worried about things going forward. It's uh, quite the spectacle. Monk's really handling this job as an MC like a pro. Um, next is my dish, one bite pasta. What the hell? <laughs> okay, I, re I recommend wrapping a single mouthful's worth of pasta around your fork and eating it in one go. It's fun and filling. I don't know about that shit. I see, points for straightforwardness. It's perfect for a buffet style affair. Just looking at it make, uh, takes me to crab heaven. Tastes just as good as I hoped to. Let me see. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Bolognese. Uh, if I saying that right? Bolognese. A basil. Carbonara. And pepperon, pepperoncino. The idea of a single bite being filled with so many different flavors isn't bad at all. Yay. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Isn't bad, he says. I think the girls earned a bit more praise than that. Dig deep and find some humanity, will you? And they're still going after each other. What, what is your issue, child? Why must you constantly talk down on me? Tom, down to me, I'm sorry. I understand that you're just a commoner brat. <laughs> but surely, whatever Mongols raised you, drills some manners into you. Just to be clear, you geriatric goat. I'm over 800 years old. If we're going to talk manners, <laughs> it is you who ought to find a little humility. You've been talking nothing but nonsense this entire time. She literally just told his ass. Is anything going to get scored properly at this rate? I mean, I'm having fun. <laughs> Same. <laughs> oh boy. By the way, it looks like Tita's dish got high marks. She'll surely be able to grasp you know who's hard at this rate. Enough, Muse. Don't start any more trouble. Gosh, she always starting it. Now then, we're up next. Cook gold salmon. God damn, they, they didn't even bother to fillet it or nothing, huh? The name really does say it all. It's just a big ass gold fish. <laughs> it looks succulent, <laughs> to be sure. But what makes it so special? This is why you're all a bunch of amateurs. This is a rare juvenile gold salmon, is it not? They're said to be fattier and more delicious than most after coming, uh, after coming and going on a unique excursion of sorts. Yes, we knew you'd recognize it, my lord. You truly do know your stuff. I had no idea it was such a rare fish. Rest assured, we put the utmost care into its preparation, sprinkling just a hint of salt before putting it over a carefully controlled flame. Just a hint of salt? That big ass fish? I see. With such a special ingredient, you'd be remiss to overcook it. Well, I for one am ready to taste it. I never liked the one, the fish that have like, like that's not filleted. I, I gotta have it filleted. I don't, I don't feel like going and diving into the fish and cutting all the sides and all the sides. I'd be like, nah, bro. Like, just, just give me the filet, bro. 
this is this is a tremendous uh this is tremendously delicious i know some people like it though like that though you truly are well versed in the culinary arts i miss reggie and yet you're still talking down to me i could give two tugs of a creepy sheep's tail about being recognized by you of all people they're hot and they're cold they're yes and they're no it's quite a logical behavior oh don't you worry about these two against all odds i think they'll get along just fine why why she got this look on her face though like it's, it's almost like like she's trying to set them up or some shit. i don't know it's weird given how rare your key ingredient is do you think you will be able to prepare this a second time for the banquet fear not the Imperial Fishing Club also has the full cooperation of the the Burroughs Fishermen Guild. There's no fish we can't catch. Those are my fishing buddies for you. Yeah. A juvenile gold salmon, huh? If they win, I'd love to give that a try at the banquet. I'm up next. I present to you the taste of Zemuria Trifecta. Pretzels apparently originated in the Empire, but now they're enjoyed all across the continent. And each place has their own special take on them. So this time, I made an Imperial-style pretzel, a Crossbell-style pretzel, and a Liberal-style pretzel. The latter is for the bride-to-be, of course. Ah, right, well conceived, Yuna. Yeah, that's pretty good. I helped her make pretzels not too long ago. I wonder what the Liberal variety tastes like. It smelled good. Like, damn good. I'm starving now. Damn, it, I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of making me hungry, too. We absolutely, <laughs> we absolutely must uh, have her make us uh, make some for us later. Very much agreed. I'm all too familiar with the Imperial style. They're somewhat firm. Crossbell pretzels utilize honey and have a unique uh, salty sweet flavor to them. Meanwhile, the barrel pretzels are soft and doughy. Those are my favorite types right there. They taste great fresh out of the oven. And it would appear as though you've used uh, different types of wheat flour for each pretzel. You can tell? Well, um, in order to replicate, re replicate the unique flavors of every pretzel variety, I thought I'd be best it, I mean, thought it'd be best if I use ingredients from where each one originates. I even use different water. Excellent attention to detail. Pretzels pair deliciously with other kinds of food. Uh, this is perfect dish to serve at a buffet. Score, thank you very much. Who would have thought she'd use different wheat and water in each pretzel? I can't imagine her getting anything less than top marks. Damn, everybody cooking. My turn then. My dish is a stamina gelato. Red pit viper, uh, red pit viper, soft shell turtle extract, garlic pepper. You, that's, that reminded me. Uh, I used to have a friend that was, <laughs> and when they, he wouldn't say stamina, he would say stamina. He'd be like, <laughs> like man, I got to get my stamina up. I'm like, what? <laughs> he used to have me cracking up, man. <laughs> I took stamina enhancing ingredients of all types and fixed them in a dessert with Amorica's high quality sweet honey. Of course she did. That's definitely the kind of thing I'd expect from Margarita, that's for sure. Uh, what does it taste like? I imagine it's the kind of thing you can easily overdose on. Not gonna lie, I kind of want to give it a try. Just imagine what you'd be, ab uh, be able to do after a heaping helping of that. Start to ring. <laughs> it's certainly unique. It's not bad. The spicy flavor of the peppers works surprisingly well here. I like it. I can feel myself brimming with energy. After this, I must head to Raquel immediately. Really, dude. Wow. I hope he mean what I think he meant right there. Wow. Okay. Just the reaction I expected. If only Milium could have participated as well. But I'll leave that to Eustace and Reem. I have to make plenty uh, uh, for Lord Vincent as well. Wow. Even Margarita's desserts are powerful. 
I bet if you had some, Tita, you'd be a bit more aggressive. <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> and so it was time for the final participant to step forward. <clears throat> um, this looks to be wild game of some kind. Is this raw meat? What kind of farce is this? Are you trying to feed us roadkill from who knows where? And raw at that? I've heard some things can be eaten raw, but this doesn't appear to be fresh. This meat is enveloped in faint spiritual power. <laughs> what is Freddy thinking? I want to believe there is more than meets the eye to this. Yeah, this is Freddy we're talking about. He has to have a plan. My apologies. This is the meat of the fabled pars. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Parsni Panda. And this dish is only complete with the addition of soup stock. Combined, they are known in the East as Shabu Shabu or Shabu Shabu, whatever, however you pronounce it. So that's your plan. N not bad, Freddy. <laughs> that seems like it's just good. The season saying, like, that's just too much to eat. Like, I gotta dip here or go here. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to go sit down and fix my food to eat it. <laughs> I want to be able to sit down and just eat. I know some people like that, but I just be like, bro, like the only pl the only uh, thing I've done like that in my life where I can say it came out good to me was uh, when I did this fun do thing. It was pretty good, you know. But everything else was like, I don't know, man. All right, but uh, Parsney Panda, eh? I've only ever had it once, but I recall it being delicious. And I've never I've heard of shabu shabu before. Naming conventions aside, you basically just put the meat in a pot, right? Correct, but not all at once. Uh, you only put it, uh, put it how much you're going to eat at the moment. Oh, okay. Using your chopsticks, you take a piece of meat and dip it in the boiling water. I thought this. Oh, in the soup. Okay. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking. He's talking about boiling water separate from that. I'm like, what? And once the meat uh, was cooked. You take it out and put the special sauce on it. I see. This seems like fun. That doesn't seem too so bad. Go on. Give it a try. I didn't, that doesn't seem too bad. You know, you take it out, you dip, you dip it, kind of roll it in and stuff, and then eat. And it's not too bad. This is absurdly delicious. I'm overflowing with power. If I keep eating, I might go back to my original form. You'll do what now? That aside, this is certainly uh, piquant, piquant, piquant. That's another new word. I've never seen it. The meat is thinly sliced, but wonderfully firm, and it's just uh, and it's just fatty enough. The savory flavors of the broth and sauce help to refine the meat into something else entirely. This is truly magnificent. My gosh. I never thought I'd hear Marquis Ballad say something like that. Shabu Shabu, eh? I've had it once with Master. No fair. I want to try. So how long are we going to stand here and watch these jerks pig out? I'm at my limit. Yeah, my stomach's been growling for ages now. Okay, judges. I think you've had enough. Now it's our turn. Hey, you can't just... Come on down. Even accounting for the banquet, I have more than enough meat to go around. And I, for one, would love to try the other dishes as well. I say we open the taste test in everyone. Agreed. We all deserve to have some fun. I like that idea. All right, then we better roll up our sleeves and get some more food cooking. But my privilege. <laughs> I need to get more of this meat before it's all not so fast, Grand Uncle. I'll be taking that, thanks. That's some funny shit. Didn't seem too bad. Take it, roll it up a little bit, dip it, you know. And so the review panel came to an end without incident, and all dishes presented passed through the process. In lieu of the panel wrapping up, the gang held a taste testing event for everyone to enjoy. Looks like everyone's, uh, nobody's noticed that I mixed powder caterpillar fungus into the shabu shabu sauce. 
I kind of suspected you would have done something like that. That dude right there will get somebody killed, man. Looks like folk can handle that kind of flavor with no problem. It means I can use this dish as a foothold to keep secretly introducing more specialty ingredients into their lives. She looked worried as shit though. Look at her face. She like, Freddy, chill out, bro. And then everyone will deepen their understanding of the gourmet world I live in. The future looks bright indeed. <laughs> Just uh, take it easy, okay? Oh boy, this is... Uh, okay, ultimate wilderness cooking. I, that was one, I'll tell you that. Oh, oh, let me get the recipe. That will figure. And we get the items from Freddy. Okay. All right. I already know who cooks this too. Um, who makes it the best. So I'm going to go ahead and cook it. Uh, where is it at? Oh, I got to use the book. Tripping. Not a bad little side story, but I just feel like there are way more interesting characters than Freddy. <laughs> just, just me. Alright, uh, Tio cooks this the best. I saw it, so... Uh, where the hell is Tio? Did I pass her up? There she is. I was like... I'll show you what I can do. Delicious and nutritious. Alright. And we can get anybody to cook this bad. I should Let's be go able with to Kurt. Cook just fine. This is edible. Meat medley hot pot. Okay. It's a pretty good one too. Um it heals twelve thousand and gives thirty CP. That's not bad. Even the bad one, you know, you have 6,000 and gives you 600 EP and recovery. It's not bad. It's really not. Um, we got so many items and shit, though. But I'm going to end here, and when we come back, we'll be uh, going on with the last one. Uh, but thank you guys for rocking with me. Oh, sorry about that. I appreciate everybody checking out the vids, as always. If you're new to the channel, tap that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. They gotta get somebody inch more inch than Freddy though, bro.